सो हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व पास पेपर ऑफ आई कैट्स मैथमेटिक्स कॉन्टेस्ट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर फॉर ग्रेड थ्री एंड फोर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज द डायग्राम शोज द फर्स्ट थ्री स्टेप्स इन द पैटर्न ऑफ डायमंड हाउ मेनी डायमंड इन टोटल विल देयर बी इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप ऑफ द पैटर्न सो वी कैन सी दैट इन द फर्स्ट स्टेप देर आर टू डायमंड इन द नेक्स्ट फाइव आफ्टर दैट एट एंड इन द फोर्थ स्टेप of the pattern there are 11 diamonds so we can easily observe that it's a jump of 3 2 plus 3 is 5 5 plus 3 is 8 and 8 plus 3 is 11 so to find out the number of diamonds in the next pattern we need to add 3 into 11 so 11 plus 3 is equal to 14 so option d is the correct option here Question number two. This year at the school baking competition, Musfira won first place for her peanut butter cheesecake. She decides to give her cheesecake away. She cuts the cheesecake into eight equal pieces. Musfira gives two pieces to the new girl in her class and one piece to her best friend. Which model represents the fraction of the cheesecake Musfira gives to the new girl in her class? The total number of pieces are eight, but in option A. The total number of uh, parts are six, and D has ten parts. So we are going to omit these two options. Now she gave uh, two pieces to new girl and one piece to her best friend. But in the question, it was asked that what fraction of the cheesecake Musfira gave to the new girl. So it was two out of eight. So option C is the correct representation. Uh, which is showing that she has given two uh, pieces out of eight. So option C is the correct option here. Question number three: Hill View is closer to the ocean than Mill Valley and River City. River City is farther from the ocean than Mill Valley, but closer to the ocean than Oak City. Which town is the farthest from the ocean? Option A: Oak City. B: River City. C: Mill Valley. And D: Hill View. So let's arrange these destinations first. Like we are going to write ocean first. After that, it's mentioned in the question that Hill View is closer to the ocean than Mill Valley and River City. Then River City is farther from the ocean than Mill Valley, so it will come after Mill Valley, but closer to the ocean than Oak City. So Oak City will be at the end because in that case, River City will be closer to the ocean than Oak City. Which town is the farthest from the ocean? So it's option A, Oak City. Question number four: Which net will make this figure? So, ah, uh, it's a square-based pyramid. We can observe that there are four triangles and one square. So, if we check all our options, ah, uh, in option B, there are four triangles and one square. So, option B is the correct net for the given shape. Question number five: Fatima sold eight boxes of cookies to her neighbor. Each box cost rupees four. If her neighbor paid with a rupees fifty bill, how much money did Fatima give back as change? So the uh, total boxes were eight, and the cost of each box was four. So the total amount was fifty. Right now we are going to find out the cost of all the boxes. So we will multiply eight by four. That is equal to thirty-two rupees. And as we need to find out the change, so we will subtract thirty-two out of fifty. That is equal to eighteen. So option A is the correct option here. Question number six: Ahmed brought rupees twenty-one to the country fair. First, he bought a rupees six roller coaster ticket. Then he used the rest of his money on three rounds of laser tag. How much money did one round of laser tag cost? So the total amount is twenty one rupees, and he bought a roller coaster ticket for six uh, rupees. So if we subtract six out of twenty one, the remaining amount is fifteen rupees. As he bought three rounds of laser tag, so we will divide fifteen by three. That is equal to five. We can say that cost of the one round of laser tag is five rupees. So option C is the correct option here. Question number seven. Ali is passionate about photography. He purchased five photography workshops ticket for rupees twenty five each. 
Additionally, he bought a camera lens for rupees 120. How much money did Ali spend in total? So, so the cost of one ticket was 25 rupees and he bought uh, such five tickets. So the total amount which he spent on the tic workshop tickets is 125. Now he bought a camera lens uh, as well which was of 120 rupees. If we add uh, these amounts like 125 and 120, the total money which he spent is 245 rupees. So option C is the correct option here. Question number eight, Sam bought two boxes of staples, three rolls of white tape and five rolls of clear tape. How many meters of tape did Sam buy in all? Option A is 39, B 47, C 48. Option D is there is not enough information to solve this problem. So option D is the correct option because not enough information is given to solve the problem. So question number nine, which time is missing? So we can see different clocks are given there. In the first clock, the time is eight. In the next, it's 8.45. After that, there is a gap. Right after that, we have another clock with 10.15 and at the end, 11 o'clock. So here we can see that there is a jump of 45 minutes. Uh, and if we add 45 into eight, the time will be 8.45. And if we add 45 into 8.45, the time will be 9.30. So here, option B is the correct option. Question number 10, look at the following train schedule. Fiza is at Springtown. If she wants to arrive at Denville at 12 p.m., what time should she get on the train? So we. So now if we look at the train schedule, uh, if uh, Fiza takes the train at 10.45 a.m., she will reach the Denville at 12 p.m. So she should choose 10.45 a.m. So option B is the correct option here. Question number 11, every 7th day in April, starting from April 1st, Hamna goes for her piano lessons. On which date will Hamna have her second last piano lesson for the month? So as she is starting from 1st April, the 7th day will come on 7th of April, which is Sunday. The second uh, piano lesson will be on uh, next 7th day, which is 14. And similarly, she will take her next uh, piano lessons on 21st and 28th of April. So in the question, uh, it is asked that when she is going to take the second last piano lesson. So her last lesson is on 28th and second uh, last lesson will be on 21st of April. So option B is the correct option here. Question number 12, before art class, Fatima has a spelling test that lasts 55 minutes. Art class lasts for 35 minutes and ends at 11.35 a.m. What time does Fatima start the spelling test? So here we can see the uh, art class ended at 11.35 uh, a.m. But it started 35 minutes before. So it means that uh, art class started at 11 o'clock. Now uh, the spelling test started 55 minutes before. So uh, the starting time of the spelling test will be 10.05 a.m. So option A is the correct option here. Question number 13, a petri dish originally contained 525 bacteria. A scientist let the bacteria grow and now there are 829 of them. After the bacteria grew, uh, the scientist decided to split them into two dishes. With one dish having 500 bacteria, how many bacteria are in the other dish? So, so initially there were uh, 524 bacteria, but after the growth, uh, there were 829 bacteria in total. Now, if scientists split the bacteria into two parts, uh, the, in the one dish, we have 500 bacteria. So, in how many bacteria in the second dish? To find that out, we will subtract 500 out of 829. The answer is 329. So, option C is the correct option here. Question number 14, complete the pattern given below. So we can see the number of spikes at the top of each square is increasing. Like initially there were two spikes, then three, and at the end there are four spikes. So it means that there should be one spike in the first box and then number of crosses are decreasing. So we have three 
two and one. So in the first square, there should be four uh, crosses. So option A is the correct representation. So we will choose it as our answer. Question number 15, I am an even number. I am greater than 42, but less than 48. However, I am also divisible by four, but not by nine. What number am I? So uh, if we see that there are only two numbers in between 42 and 48, which are 44 and 46. So we will choose 44 here because if we divide 44 by 4, the answer is 11 and 44 is not divisible by 9. But if we look at 46, it's not divisible by 4 or 9. So that's why option B is the correct option here. Question number 16, which is a better estimate for the length of a basketball court? Option A, 30 inches, B, 30 meters, C, 30 centimeters, and D, 30 millimeters. The millimeter is very small length, and uh, 30 centimeters is also not optimal option here. So option B is the correct option. The length of the basketball court will be roughly 30 meters. Use the following graph to answer uh, questions 17 and 18. The graph given below shows the depths of different lakes in Romania. The first one is Lake Superior, then Lake Michigan, after that Lake Huron, Lake Ontario, and at the end we have Lake Erie. Question number 17, which of the following is the correct ascending order of the depths of these lakes? So ascending means smallest to greatest. So we can see the uh, the less uh, the least depth is of Lake Erie. Then after that Lake Huron. Uh, then we have Lake Ontario in the line. After that Lake Michigan, and at the end Lake Superior. So option D is the correct um, ascending order of the depths of these lakes. Question number eighteen: How much extra depth does Lake Superior have in comparison to the combined depth of Lake Erie and Lake Ontario? So we can write values over here. The depth of Lake Erie is two hundred, Ontario is eight hundred. If we add the values, the total is equal to one thousand feet. Now, as we have to find out the difference between the depths, uh, so we will subtract uh, one thousand out of the depth of Lake Superior, that is 1300, the answer is 300 feet. So option C is the correct option here. Question number 19, guess who am I? I am a five digit number. My units place is the sum of three and four. So the total is seven. My tens place is the difference between nine and five. So nine minus five is equal to four. My hundreds place is twice the value of my tens place. So at the 10th place, the number is 4. So 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. My thousands place is the same as my units place. So the number at the units place is 7. So the number at the thousands place will be 7. My 10 thousands place is an odd number greater than 1 and less than 4. There is only one odd number that is 3. So if we uh, write all these numbers together, together the answer will be 37,847, which is our option A. Question number 20. Last year at Sparrow Towns Airport, 192,950 passengers landed on time. Unfortunately, 319,170 passengers landed late. In all, about how many passengers landed in Sparrow Town last year? Choose the better estimate. So here, uh, the uh, the passengers landed on time were 192,950 and who got late, the number is mentioned here. If we add the given numbers, the total is 512,120. So as we have to find out the better estimate, option C, which is 510,000, will be the best estimate because it is closer to the uh, actual value. So option C is the correct option here. Question number 21. How many more circles are there than triangles in the figure shown below? So if we count the number of circles, uh, there are 11 circles like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
then eighth circle is the face of the character then 9 10 and 11 so now let's calculate the number of triangles a triangle has three sides so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so there are nine triangles even oh. if we subtract nine out of 11 the answer is two so there are more, two more circles than triangles Question number 22, carefully see the below given thermometer. The temperature shown in degree Celsius is about. So if we look at all the options and uh, thermometer, on the left side of the thermometer, the temperature is given in Fahrenheit and on the right side of the thermometer, the temperature is given in Celsius. So if we have 30, then the line is crossing 35 uh, and it is reaching to 37. So option B is the correct option, 37 degrees Celsius. Question number 23, a man is facing northwest. He turns 90 degrees in clockwise direction and then 180 degrees in anti-clockwise direction. Which direction is he facing now? So if a man is facing northwest and he turns 90 degrees in clockwise direction, so he will uh, face northeast. As he is facing northeast now and he takes 180 degree uh, turn in anti-clockwise direction, so he will face southwest because it's 180 degrees. Straight line represents uh, 180 degrees. So that's why I have drawn a straight line here. So option B is the correct option. He will face southwest now. Question number 24. There are nine seats which are numbered as shown below. At first, Ahmed was sitting at seat number 3, then clockwise. Changing seats after passing every 3 seats, if Ahmed has changed seats 4 times and stopped where Ahmed was last sitting. So initially, he was sitting at seat number 3. After skipping 3 seats, he will sit at 7th seat. Then uh, for the second time, when will he when he will uh, uh, change the seats, so he will sit on seat number 2. For third time, when he will change the seats, he will sit on seat number 6 and at last time he will sit on seat number 1. So option A is the correct option here. Question number 25. Each letter is assigned a value based on its position in the alphabet. A is equal to 1, B is equal to 2, C is equal to 3 and so on. And the value of each letter is multiplied by its position in the word exam. What will be the total sum of the letters in the word exam? So here we have A is equal to 1, B is equal to 2 and C is equal to 3. So uh, like that the value of E will be 5 because A, B, C, D and E. E is at 5th place. The value of x will be equal to 24 because x is at 24th place in alphabets. So uh, a is equal to 1 and similarly m is at 13th place. So value of m will be 13. Now the word exam. In the exam, the position of e is at first uh, place. So we are going to multiply 5 by 1. Then we will add the position of x in exam which is second so we will multiply its value which was 24 by its position that is 2 and then we have a the value of a is 1 and position of a in exam was 3 so we will multiply it by 3 then we have m so 13 by 4 so when we will add all the values the total answer is 108 so option b is the correct option here Thank you so much. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe my channel.